Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is B. Razib. You guys can tell from the title of this video what this video is all about. A lot of new moms struggle. I know I did when I did my first, so I created a bit of like hacks that I think can be helpful to you new mommies. So the first hack is buying breast pumps and while breast pumps might be a bit expensive there are different brands that are actually um well affordable and they are really can be really helpful to new mommies especially in the first few months because um moms need to rest you know because during the night time you're always the baby you know breastfeeding baby is really really independent on you so at night you do a lot and then you tend to need to sleep in the morning so having a breast pump you can pump your milk to save you can either keep them in the fridge store them and then um, warm them up for either your husband or family to help you during the day um second hack here is applying coconut oil or blue seed to diaper areas this has actually been really helpful applying coconut oil to um the diaper area before wearing diapers is really helpful because it keeps your baby's bottom smooth apart from keeping the baby's bottom smooth the blue seal or the coconut oil acts as a barrier so the when your baby wheeze or baby pulls it doesn't really affect the skin whereas not to really leave not oil or um, blue seal exposes the baby to um, infections and rashes especially when you have to leave those diapers in for a bit longer third hack is applying blue seal to your baby diaper area before bedtime so doing this helps you minimize the number of times you actually change the diapers like i said the blue seal or the coconut oil actually acts as a barrier to the skin the fourth hack is using a sound machine now this doesn't really sound um, affordable because it's not every mom that can afford a sound machine but even if you can't afford a sound machine you have your phones so if you have um, a smartphone then you can definitely go online to look for um, white noises i swear by that noise white noises because these babies <laughs> oh my god like my first at first i didn't really use white noise for him i didn't use any sound machine but for my second i had to get that because he wasn't sleeping as long as now my first did so we incorporated sound machines so using sound machines help you really sleep a lot longer and sleeps peacefully you know without being disturbed the fifth hack is having a basket of nursing essentials close to you while nursing so this makes it easier for you to like makes it easier for you to reach um your essentials close by close to you because when nursing you don't want to it honestly when nursing you can't move I, I really i really just feel like you can't really move that much um I noticed that before I nurse, I have to even go to the bathroom to like try to pee because when I start nursing and I feel like peeing, you can't really stand up, you can't really, you know, drop baby in the middle of a feed, you can't really do all of that. So you you have to have your nursing essentials close by so you can just easily reach them while breastfeeding. So the sixth hack is wearing an oversized t-shirt when nursing or a big shirt basically when nursing so um wearing a big shirt when nursing you can literally put the baby and use the shirt as a cover for the baby so you're not really exposed while you're breastfeeding i noticed this while um nursing my first child so i really wear this i have a lot of these white shirts so I dedicated them to just breastfeeding. So I use these and they're very big and comfortable, you know. I don't know about um, nursing, especially the first few months of baby's life, you just, you don't really get to dress up because you're, you know, making breast milk, you know, it's just so uncomfortable. So to make it comfortable, honestly, having a big shirt that, you know, is really comfortable helps a lot. The seventh hack is prop your baby up 
when giving a bottle that's for people that actually feed their babies through like feeding bottles and all of that so you don't want the baby's head to be down you pop the baby up when giving like bottles to avoid um choking the number eight hack is using a nail file for baby nails using a nail file to trim your baby's nails is safer than using like, the nail cutter and all I'm going to insert a picture of the nail file I'm talking about and using is actually easier for all the moments because babies move a lot so when using that nail file the nail file is a machine you just and then the file nails. number nine is something very unique that I don't think a lot of people actually know to do which is speaking words about your baby you know just speaking words of information um the baby is still a baby he can really speak to himself but as a parent as a mom as a dad you should always speak words over the babies positive words words that will enrich the baby because babies actually here they're very sensitive things so speak to your baby you're beautiful you're blessed you're incredibly smart you you have wisdom the joy of the lord is your strength etc bounce bounce on a bed ball or a rocking chair that is if you have a rocking chair but bouncing on a bed ball can actually help to suit your baby well when the baby cries and the bed ball thing if you had it like i had it in my first so i found that sitting on it and just rocking on it helps to suit the baby just same way like rocking chairs actually help for the last new mom hack um you're welcome to leave um hacks in my comments for moms to see if you actually if you're a mom and you have a few hacks yourself you can actually leave it in the comment section below um thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel 